And action. Because they have the 
they can absorb easily, and then they are also well tolerated by the patients. Uh, the one that's most used is the, uh, the iodine uh, positive contrast media and the water soluble, and then the, the hand uh, contrast is the negative one. And sometimes they use either the single contrast or double contrast. So the contrast it, uh, will be injected in the, uh, the joint space, and usually they use like 30 to 100 milli, uh, milliliter milli if needed. But if it's the negative contrast, they have to use more. But uh, the positive one, they usually use between 30 to 100. And um, yeah, like I was saying, the negative one is the hair and the COD, and then the water soluble is also as uh, contrast used. So those are just the example, that's the needle that will be used, those are the example of the contract that is being used. Lidocaine. What is it? It's a numbing drug. It's used to numb the injection site before the contrast media is injected. It helps the patient to have less pain in the injection site. And the dose is also given into the joint itself to relieve some of the pain or to cause less pain during the procedure. Preparation. First thing you want to do is explain the procedure to the patient. So this takes just a few simple steps. You want to thoroughly explain the exam to the patient first. Next, you want to get consent from the patient if they decide they want to continue on with the procedure. The next thing you will do is schedule the exam or it can be done the same day. There's no need for the patient to fast or stop any medication for this procedure. So this is one of the preparation they usually do. The patient will go to the uh, to the uh, to the room. They will give him a gown. They will get the history of the patient. They will check if the patient has some allergy. For some people, they uh, they don't tolerate the iodine uh, contrast, and then the, the patient will get uh, prepared by shaving the area they are supposed to inject the contrast, and then uh, they will go. But they will use also the beta line to scrub the scan. Circular motion the area. That's just one of the pictures they, they are trying to put the contrast. And as you can see, this brown area is the, where they scrub the benadine and the circular motion before injecting um, this is lidocaine. And the lidocaine goes like directly under the skin or subcutaneous. The subcutaneous level. This is once um, the contrast media is being injected into the site of entrance. So you just use a small little catheter here to inject the contrast in. You want to make sure the tubing also has no air bubbles before injecting the contrast into the body. The indication for the uh, for the arthrography is to explain the, uh, the unexplained uh, pain. Usually, it's uh, most of the, uh, I mean the arthrography is made for the shoulder and then the knee because the people have pain on the joint. To indicate problems with the ligaments, cartilage, tendons, or joint capsules. And also to locate like if they have the cyst on the joint. This procedure, information regarding the joints and surrounding, is used to obtain diagnostic soft tissue or cartilage. Ligament meniscus, bursa, usually done for the knee, shoulder, hip, wrist, and sometimes the T and J. Um, indications for doing the exam, 
Um, if you have a suspected